Oh god, I'm really tired. Sorry guys, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning because I went to sleep at 8 o'clock last night. I feel like I'm about 70 years old right now. Uh, we do have a really awkward first supply to placement for surfing. Uh, I don't know why he put it there. I guess just to cut the, uh, you know, half inch of building time he would have saved. He is putting his barracks in the more normal spot though. It'd be really awkward if he put his barracks right here. That would, uh, that would make mining very difficult on him, I would expect. And we do have Nomi moving out with his first probe. So, important things to note are going to be the timing on the second gas for the Protoss, and whether or not we get a first gas or a second gas for the Terran. We are at 14 supply for him already, though, so it looks like we're probably going to have a one racks expand of some form. Uh, whereas Nomi is doing a very normal build for himself, He's using all of his Chrono Boost so far on those probes. Uh, so probably a pretty economical build, uh, probably looking to expand relatively early here. Nomi is going to scout no gas. Uh, definitely a lot of information coming out of that. And so you should know that it's going to be a one racks expand because all ins are not very good against Protoss. Uh, well, if you see it coming, I guess. But our Terran player is going to scout the wrong location first, going up to the top left hand corner. Scouting cross positions first. It's a little weird. And uh, Nomi actually patrolling his probe at the third here, probably just hiding that scout. Make sure it doesn't die to a marine and he can scout very quickly. Exosurfing has thrown down his first command center at the natural and uh, he should be perfectly safe as almost all the chrono boost has been used on those probes. He does have 50 energy now though, so assuming... Oh, he's gonna go Nexus actually before even warp gate starts. Alright. So cutting a couple probes get that Nexus out very quickly. Uh, probably a good decision after seeing that it was going to be a one rack to expand very quickly. And we do have two marines moving across the map. Gonna get picked off pretty easily by the first stalker that's gone its way out. But good to apply a little bit of pressure. If he can kill even one one drone or probe or something, it could be worth it. Uh, but he is gonna lose these two marines because the stalker obviously is gonna outrun them all the way back to his base. Nomi not yet taking a second gas, and Surfy actually putting down three more barracks. So uh, we're gonna have four barracks, and it allows you. Putting down four barracks, or a total of four barracks, not four more barracks, uh, gives you a lot of options uh, for how to pressure. You can pressure with just a combat shield kind of timing uh, with a lot of marines, or you can do, well, you can put on a lot of pressure, I guess, uh, if you need to. But of course, it's not as all in if it's going to five or six racks at this point with no gas. And he has taken his first and second gas now, so. I think that's pretty good timing on those. We do have an assimilator coming down in two more gateways without a robo or anything. Typically, uh, when you see a one gate expand, we like to see Protoss players most of the time get a robo out before those two extra gates. It's a little less safe, of course, but uh, you do get that observer out a lot faster and you can figure out exactly what you're up against. Nomi second gas completes. He has transferred a few probes to his natural here, uh, leaving about, about 16 at home. Stalker coming up, poking, not losing any hull damage, that's good. I'm uh, not doing any damage to the marines though either. Looks like the marines actually headed back home from the beginning. Uh, so we do have, oh, five stalkers on the map right here actually. So Nomi doing a little bit of five stalker pressure off of one gate. Or one, uh, one gate, that doesn't even make any fucking sense. Uh, and oh my god, we have Surfy pulling a ton of SCVs. This is just a light pressure and he is taking this really, really seriously. Really doesn't want to die to this. Of course, you don't want to die to anything, but uh, playing extra, extra careful. Nomi leaving the hurt stalkers up front, man. A little weird. Um, he is going to lose a number of stalkers here, but it looks like we might have all of the Marines go down, even. Uh, only five Marines left. Bunker is going to complete. Nomi did lose a number of stalkers here. Uh, after getting in that bunker, we should see Nomi back off. This is another stalker, even a little bit of not perfect control here. Resources lost right now, 750 to 600. Supply relatively even. Harvester count relatively even as well. Terran only down by one harvester. Those meals definitely going to more than make up for that. We do have Marauders coming out now with Concussive Shell. No Stim or Combat Shield on the way quite yet. Uh, but these Marauders are going to be able to kill all of... Well, Nomi is warping in a lot more units even now, so... Looks like it's continued three gate pressure and a little bit supply blocked here. Does have his next gas up and, you know, we don't really see any tech out for him yet. So 
If our Terran player keeps powering with these buildings and adding on the factory or something like that, uh, Nomi might get stuck in a little bit of trouble here. He's going double forge now. Back at home. And this will allow him, of course, to get upgrades very quickly. Um, I think I think it's important to see tech out of Nomi, though, not just upgrades. Uh, I'm talking, you know, blink, charge, a robo for immortals or something. Um, because this gateway heavy composition isn't going to achieve all that much without either a lot of sentries or a lot of tech. Uh, but we do have Nomi falling a little bit behind in supply now. Uh, 62 versus 70 for Surfy. Surfy is a little bit supply blocked. Um, it's alright though. And what is this here? We have a fourth gateway coming up with more sentries. Hmm. Okay. Nomi caught back up in supply. It's now 72 to 75, much closer than it was before. Uh, fourth gas going up for Surfy off of two base before that uh, command center, third command center goes down. So uh, looks like he's planning to stay on these two bases for uh, longer than a super heavy macro base build would be. We do have the factory and the starport now. Factory, of course, making that uh, reactor for the starport. Double engineering bays. Stim on the way, combat shield not on the way. I'm kind of surprised he got this many uh, tech labs actually on his barracks. It's a lot of marauder production. And yeah, actually look at that. We only have five marines on the field. So Zealots should be uh, pretty good if there are sentries mixed in. If he keeps going this heavy stalker comp, if Nomi keeps going this heavy stalker composition, he's probably just going to lose to it. But it uh, looks like he's doing a good job of getting out a lot of Zealots and sentries now that the, his initial rush is over. So plus one, plus one is going to finish up here on the forges, and we s do have a Twilight Council. Uh, we don't have charge started yet. Uh, the fourth gas just now finishing. Uh, I, I really think charge is, is going to be very important here, even against concussive shell, to close the gap just a little bit. Allow your sentries to get closer into range to put those force fields down behind and keep them from kiting as much. So our Terran player now is going to go ahead and move out on the map. That is a lot of Marauders, man. How many Marauders is that? That is 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 Marauders. No me. Not moving that Stalker back. <laughs> Terran player deciding not to kill the Stalker for a second. And no me. Throwing up a third. I really think this needs to be canceled. He does cancel it. And, uh... Yeah, man. He's gonna need, uh... He's gonna need a lot of stuff to hold this. He's gonna have to force heal his ramp perfectly. No me. Paying attention to his units. Last second here. Oh. Kind of get losing a couple of zealots here for no reason. And, uh, yeah, Nomi's banking a number of minerals here. He really, because of that cancelled expansion, he really needs to find a way to spend it properly. Uh, starting plus two, plus two now. Still no charge on the way or anything like that. Gets down a couple of force fields, but doesn't engage. So, a little bit yeah, weird again. He needs to commit to something or not. <laughs> One way or, the, or one way or another, he needs to do something here. The Terran player getting a lot of harassment done, killing a lot of buildings. And, oh, good force fields by Nomi. He's going to drop a large portion of the army up here. Does split his units so his zealots can get down and do a lot of damage. A lot of marauders get picked up, but supplies relatively even again. It's 102 to 109. Upgrades are in the Protoss's favor. Terran's just now finishing a plus one armor, and Protoss is going to have plus two, plus two here again. No tech out of the Twilight Council yet. Just using it to get upgrades. No Robo. No Stargate. No real tech. It's all, it's all just uh, upgrades and mass gateway units. And he is taking that third now up at the top location. A little more vulner vulnerable to drops. A little less vulnerable from this awkward choke point here. And what was this? <laughs> Nomi has five zealots just walking back from the front of the battlefield. I'm guessing to, they were trying to do a counterattack. And we have charge and plus three, plus three on the way. So. Um, once Nobi gets his third rolling, gets a lot more gateways up, he doesn't, with his upgrade advantage as it currently stands, he almost doesn't even need any tech. Because uh, Terran let him get to this without punishing him, uh, even with even upgrades. So, Terran not taking a third at the moment. Looks like he's transferring a bunch of SCVs. This third is almost complete. Nomi has three uh, stalkers back here to stop the drop that's incoming. The drop does turn around. Uh, probably to avoid the watchtower. I don't know what that was for. And a robo's coming up now. What is... Oh, so many units. 
Alright, so anyways, we got a robotics bay. Four more gateways on the way. And if we get a quick gateway count, we are currently at nine. And one robo and a Templar archives. Alright, so we'll see if that's for Archons or for Storm. He is warping in four high Templar now. And they are going to be Archons for now at least. Until uh, a later moment in time. There are ghosts on the way for our Terran player though. So he is going to have a somewhat counter. But again, Ghost's not going to do too much against these plus three, plus three Zealots. Uh, against his plus one, plus one army here. He's just now started plus two, plus two. Plus two weapons about halfway done. Uh, plus one armor just starting a little while ago, though. And the Warp Prism coming down, too. We do have a big drop of main, actually. He's going to pick off plus three, plus three before he finishes here. So that is a huge deal. going to put him not so far behind, and... Uh, that's going to put Nomi in a very precarious position because his only advantage at this point was that he didn't have tech and that he had that plus three, plus three going. And now that it's, now that it's gone, well, obviously, it's not going to go quite as well as he wanted it to, I would expect. Terran player does have a third base up now. Interesting. Throwing up a missile turret just to be safe against DTs, I expect, but he doesn't have one in his main at all. Um, maybe versus War Prism 2. I guess it's a pretty good generic defense. Uh, scouting with that Marine, very good. I very, I very much like this. Uh, checking for pylons and anything that can warp in over in that direction. And... Where is that War Prism? It is still down here. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have a pretty good big engagement in the middle map. Nomi's going to get to see this first, though, as he does have the Watchtower. And... A lot of ghosts coming up here. Huge EMPs going down on the army. Archons only get hit by one, though. And, you know, sentries are completely burnt on energy. There's one left that I think has enough. But he uses it for a force field and not a guardian shield. Nomi being chased all the way back home. 180 to 147 supply right now. Only one Archon left in this army. And then only Stalkers. Not very good against Marauders. And I think Nomi is just going to lose this game from here. Excellent EMPs from these ghosts here. Stim doing a ton of damage. And Nomi not being at plus three, plus three. Uh, obviously really really hurt him there he's starting to take his fourth banking a lot of minerals actually so even though he added on those extra gateways he never really used his robo uh, was just kind of spending his money as best as he could but not uh, not using all the structures that he had it looks like a lot of the ghosts kind of getting picked off using snipes on the zealots at this point relatively unimportant though Nomi stuck on two bases has his third up but of course not very useful up there. No probes at it. And he's even pulled probes to try to stop this. So a ton of zealots, but they're going to be in this narrow choke point at the ramp. These medevacs almost out of energy, though. A little bit of an overstim here, I think, for Surfy. I don't think he needs to use those quite yet. It's okay, though. A lot of ghosts using a lot of snipes on these zealots. This army may get cleaned up, but again, not a big deal, I don't think. Nomi down at 60 supply to the 150 of Surfy. And this army... Well, I guess relatively unimportant in the grand scheme of things. Another army moving across for Surfy here. We're currently at 140 to 63. Should probably put that phone on silent. Fourth started even for our Terran player here. Now finds the fourth for Nomi. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the unit count real quick. Oh, look at me. I took away my overlay. I am terrible at this. There we go. Unit count right now is 39 Marines, 11 Marauders versus two Archons and one Stalker. Six months. Yeah. So, Nomi actually getting a pretty good surround there. Uh, gonna kill off probably all these units with these charge blocks. Charge really doing a lot of work here. Uh, <laughs> Metapacks pick everything up and they just leave while the natural gets harassed again. It looks like that is going to get sniped. So Nomi again, uh, now on, well, I don't know if we can call this a mining base, and he does GG out. So, we do have Clan XO going up 1-0 against Team Air here for the first game, and we will be back with game two in just a few minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. One sec.